West Bengal has a rich history, much of which is interspersed with the European cultural legacy. One such legacy is that of the Danish who came here during the colonial era. Although the most dominant European culture to have left a mark in India and in Bengal was that of English in Sri Rampur, a small town near Kolkata, there was a thriving Dutch colony. Last year, a small part of it was resurrected when the Denmark Tavern was opened. And today, I am going to be showing you guys that Denmark Tavern only. So you can easily reach this Dutch tavern by river or by train. There are frequent ferry services between Dhobi Ghat and Barakpur to the Sri Rampur jetty, which is on the other side of Hooghly. A train ride from Howrah station will also take you to Sri Rampur easily. Or if a road trip is in your mind, you can take the hour and a half drive via GT Road or Delhi Road to reach Sri Rampur. Now I will also tell you the more details of this Dutch tavern one by one. So please do keep watching the video. A few years ago, when the reconstructed Denmark tavern, which is visible from the Hooghly River that flows right next to it, opened its door to the people. Now Sri Rampur was under administration of Denmark from 1755 to 1845 after which the Danes sold their Indian interests up to the English. In 1786, a local British innkeeper, James Parr, opened the Denmark Tavern and Hotel, which insanely became quite famous among Europeans that settled here. Unfortunately, the tavern was in ruins for much of the last century, but well now it has been rebuilt. The reinvented tavern has a cafe for various guests to come and enjoy their time here. Surprisingly, there is actually option for people to stay here as well. Instead of the original wooden interiors, now the tavern is a blend of the new and old blend with steel beams and cement construction in various places. There is also a very very beautiful terrace here which is decorated with plants and sofas and chairs made of bamboo and well all those are okay but the most important thing is that you guys can see the river Hooghly from here and it's the view is just so mesmerizing and also in the uh, like Hooghly river you guys can see the boats going um, like there is the ferry hut right so you guys can see the boats going here and there and also there is a small park in front of the river you guys can also go there and visit and like you know the breeze blowing um, it's just uh, uh, very calming especially in the summer season and also there is a um, like there are small food stalls here and there uh, small uh, so you guys can also go and visit those so talking about the Hooghly river i get reminded of the various ghats that there are in sri rampur so i'm going to be also showing all those ghats like uh, the so, like there are a lot of ghats it's not possible for me to show all of them in one video i'm going to be show you uh, the ghats that i have seen and i'm going to be compiling them up in a video and i'm going to be posting that very soon and if you have not watched the mahesh rad video of sri rampur only you guys can also go and visit my channel and watch that video. Also, the Mashir Bari uh, uh, video, like where they take Lord Jagannath, uh, uh, Subhadra, and Balaram, uh, I, like to Mashir Bari. I'm also going to be posting all those videos. So do follow my channel for those videos. There is also a waiting room here 
and um, like you know if it is too crowded for you to see it or uh, they just tell you to uh, wait until it's cleaned up and you guys can go there and sit so you guys can wait in the waiting room and the waiting room also has its own you know design and decorum so uh, it's like i am showing it to you right now and it was very beautiful and now i'm showing you the main restaurant which is um on the ground floor showing you guys a video of the restaurant and i didn't even talk about the food till now so now coming to that is that the two specials here uh, is the grilled fish uh, fries and lemon butter sauce and the chicken sausage we tried the fish and like both of them out and it was really good and other than these two we also tried uh, fried rice and chili chicken so that was also very good so i have also shared the menu card in this video only and so you guys can just see that menu card and pause that video if needed and choose here and then go So hope you guys like the video if you like please please do subscribe and don't forget to comment on uh, many doubts you have about this and uh, also uh, please do keep supporting me like you always have been and um, I will be posting more videos like this as I have already mentioned in this video only and uh, again please please do subscribe thank you for watching